you're obviously here to find out if they are worth buying well keep watching and find out <music> everybody and welcome to my channel my name is Cynthia Baruko if this is your first time here please don't make your last by subscribing if you're a returning subscriber welcome back on today's video I'm gonna do a review on Disa mm. on the brand name Disa Disa or Disa I don't know if I'm getting the pronunciation correctly this and this one is um Collagen Moisting More Sunscreen that has 50 SPF, very high protection, blah blah blah. You know, and the other one is Desire Sunblock 90 SPF sunscreen, refreshing sunblock. I can never overemphasize on how important sunblock is like it cannot be emphasized enough you know? sunblock is really important especially if you're in nigeria with this nigerian sun at least you need a um, sunblock that is at least spf 50. so but this one is um spf 50 this is a sunscreen spf 50. i don't know if you can see it and this is um Desire moisturizing sunblock SPF 90 no one is sunblock and this one is sunscreen so let's check it out first of all let's check out this so the normal way of applying sun block is with your two fingers like this oh okay first of all let me do a review on the color is pinkish well, I call it pinkish uh yeah kind of pinkish in color so it's not very thick by the way like so
She's the collagen sunscreen. On to the next, which is the Zar Collagen Moisting Mom Sunscreen with SPF 50. Okay. Now, they say that the refreshing formula has a lightweight, thin, and natural texture that can be rapidly absorbed by the skin without pore blockage. Mm, rapidly absorbed by the skin. We will soon find out. Suitable for all types of skin. So, let's just jump to the chase. As usual, two fingers. <laughs> this one is like brownish in color while the other one was pinkish and this one is not the consistency is thicker than the last one the last one was a little bit um light that watery let's see what you per se so i put it on my finger Me. I've been at this for a long time, but let's continue. This is definitely not going to absorb. If you're applying a product that is going to absorb, you would know it's not going to absorb. But for the sake of this video, let me leave it for 20 minutes. The 20 minutes is up, guys, and nothing changed. It's like this. In fact, I'm feeling hot on my face. It's as if I, I applied white clay on my face. Like, what the hell is this? What is this desire? What are you producing for us? Let me, honestly, it's definitely not for black people. It's definitely not for black people. We are not their target market. Because what is this? Why? What is this? So guys i've washed my face and patted dry obviously i do not recommend these two sunscreens i do not recommend it's not for i don't even know why are they even imported to nigeria why it's not supposed to be imported to us because it's obviously not for us it's for the white people the asians because this is an asian um product it's for them it's not for us if you are saying oh why is she applying much she the quantity i'm using is more that is actually the correct way to use your sunscreen if you think you're just going to take a drop and apply all over the face no boo you are not blocking any sun it's not going to work applying according to experts using your two fingers from here to here from here to here is actually the correct way of applying your sunscreen so this is not for us i do not recommend we total waste of money I'm not going to use this this again because it's obviously useless so yeah not too much to say you put saw it into the trash yeah i'm sorry Diza, but you guys are not producing it for us i don't even know why it's been imported into this country maybe for the whites here so i think i have to come to the end of this video if you've already seen the review for yourself is don't buy it it's a waste of money go for other sunscreen thanks for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was helpful don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like share and comment see you on my next video bye bye